Nigeria. For several decades now, Nigeria has been relying on imports to meet local demand for petroleum products like gasoline, diesel, kerosene and jet fuel. But that could change as the country moves to restart four of its oil refineries by the end of the year. The government says it's already test running one of the refineries in the southern city of Port Harcourt. CGTN's Deji Bademosi tells us more. The Port Harcourt refinery is the biggest government-owned refinery in Nigeria. Comprising two units of a combined capacity of 210,000 barrels per day, the refinery was shut down in 2019 for the first phase of a $1.5 billion repair work project, which has now been completed with a test run of the facility. The mechanical part is completed, and this is the beginning of, you know, the completion of not just this particular refinery, you know, phase one and two, but the one for Wari and then the one in Karuna, so that we'll be able to benefit from this massive investment that the country has made. The Nigerian government says it is determined to not only end petrol imports, but to also make the country a net exporter of petroleum products by the end of this year. It says its two other refineries will come back on stream by the last quarter of the year. In addition to all of this, the 650,000 barrels per day privately owned Dangote refinery has now been supplied with crude and the first batch of petroleum products are due out of the refinery by the end of January. When we are done with our own refineries and the Dangote refinery, very many other small initiatives that we are doing, small, modular, uh, uh, condenser refineries that we are building, if that happens, and we are very optimistic it will happen, uh, you will see that this country will now be a net exporter. As a matter of fact, it will be a hub of export of petroleum products, not just to the West African sub-region, but to the rest, of, the rest of the world. This will happen. The flow of supply will change. So far, the government is walking the talk. Things are gradually coming together, and the horizon looks bright. Presently, there is no fuel being produced in Nigeria at all. So, uh, the fact that uh, whatever product that the refinery start to uh, uh, start to produce, we back out the imported fuel, and that will have some positive impact on the Nigerian uh, economy. And then in terms of uh, availability, so all this will start to have some changes, positive changes in favor of uh, Nigeria and Nigerian consumers. The management of the Dangote refinery has said it will start with the production of diesel and aviation fuel and operate at about half its capacity before gradually ramping up production to its full capacity as well as produce refined petrol. As for the Potakot refinery, the government says the refinery will start with 60,000 barrels of crude per day before heating its 210,000 capacity by the end of the year. DG Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos. Nigeria.